Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Let's Play Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night with Frozen Foxy. Last time we left off, we had uh, fought a couple of uh, what I'm guessing are hidden bosses, including uh, the Wiggly Wiggle on the train, and uh, the Breeder, which just spawns smaller versions of itself and looks like a 16-bit monster. Um, it was interesting. It was very interesting. I do not know uh, how many hidden bosses are in this game, but I assume it is a, uh, a decent number based on what we've seen so far. Alright. So, out of curiosity. No. It's just not letting me. Okay, I, I think we probably need, like, a higher jump or something for that to, uh, to even matter at this point. Which is fine. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll live with that. But, uh, for now, we've got a whole bunch of places that, uh, should be accessible to us at this point. Including this one. This is interesting. Like a couple of uh, mirrors and nothing else really going on in here. I really like the reflector ray. It's, uh, it's a very interesting and uh, a unique move. Alright, so... Got a couple of things to stand on. I presume... Is this like... The ability to go up and down here? Yes. So we have the ability to uh, use kind of an elevator, and I'm guessing with this one, we kind of have to uh, move it forward so we can get across. I love the puzzle mechanics in uh, in Metroidvania games. There's always uh, there's always some really unique things going on. Yeah! So, the real question is, why do we want to go over here? Is there is there something going on over here? Besides enemies? Um, there's a new room. That's, that's worth going to. Hello, random treasure chest. Looks like we have the ability to go to the treasure chest and also up the wall over here. Uh, that's not gonna do it. <laughs> I need to go from a different angle. Oh. I see. There's a mirror over here, too. What do we have here? Thunder Circlet. Interesting. Let's go take a look at that one. Probably not going to be better than the bunny ears for me, because I want that extra luck. Oh my gosh, we got 38 luck. I didn't even remember that from last time. That's a, that's a frick ton of luck. Alright, so this would give us uh, some extra intelligence in mind. Uh, it would actually lower our defense a little bit. Uh, but we would get uh, some defense against thunder attacks. Um, it's nice. It, it actually is quite nice, but uh, I don't think it is something that I want to use currently. So we're just kind of like climbing our way up here. I don't know if I want to go this way. I feel like this is probably the way that we are meant to go. <laughs> in order to uh, to progress, but I kind of want to go back to other areas so that I can uh, find other things. Uh, you look a little different. Yes, you are indeed something different. So that, uh, that pretty much looks like the Medusa head, except they're, they're yellow instead of blue now. Where, where are they? Are they down here somewhere? No. curious because the other ones only gave like uh, three experience and I'm wondering if these ones give more experience or if these oh my god that floppy weird ass kune kune is just it's it's strange it's very strange I don't know how to feel about that there we go so it's called a uh, malediction it's basically the same thing it gives you four experience it's it's pretty much not not really different not really different Oh, that's different. It can stone you. Um, okay. Well, I guess there is something different. What do we have here? Resist petrification. Okay, well, this uh, this would probably be valuable to uh, combat these guys. entirely sure what I just picked up besides the stone thaw, but it looked like a weapon, perhaps? 
a harpy. Or a harp. What exactly is that? Is it a weapon? Yeah, it is. I've got two of them now, and uh, it gives us uh, some more attack, for sure. Is a sword with a scythe-like blade. We'll try it out. Wow. It's got some reach to it. Seems pretty fast, too. Wow, getting resist petrification shards all over the place from these guys. Wasn't even really trying. Why would we want this bookcase here? It looks like a movable bookcase. I have a feeling we have to carry it up. Oof. That, that seems like that is going to be a difficulty. There's a couple of doors here. Oh, yeah. We need it here, don't we? Interesting. Okay. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha, you, game. Let's see if I can do this without getting stoned along the way. I bet you if I get stoned, then I'll drop this thing. No, oh, hey. There we go. All good. Can I just double jump up here? Um, I might be able to do it off of this. Yeah, there we go. What is this? Ooh. Okay, question. <sighs> are you a mimic? You are not. You're just a random chair. I think this is a silver knight crystal, if I'm not mistaken. It is. So we are actually powering up silver knight here. Oh, but I really like the fairy. I really do. <laughs> it is it is a hard decision for me to switch back to to Silver Knight, even though Silver Knight is pretty epic. Caribous, though. I really like the Caribous. Pretty nice. Alright, well. Let's hop on over here. See what else is going on up here. Hey, hey, hey! Jerks. Great. Fell all the way down to the bottom because I got stoned. Fantastic. These uh, these maledictions are definitely a pain in the ass. What else is going on up here? Just another area. Hmm. That is a that is a very very lengthy uh, looking area that we've got going on. Where do I want to go? Do I want to go? I think I want to go to the uh, the bottom rooms. Even though I made it all the way up here, just to check those out. Let's try this one first. Okay, there's someone down there. Oh. Is this is this gonna be what I think it is? Yes, it is. He can poke you in the butt. What a jerky room. Is there anything here? I had a feeling. I can't move this? What is this for then? Anything? Hmm. Okay. I could sit here and then get poked. Which would be ridiculous. Let's not do that. Um, all right, let's let's go down to the uh, the bottom room and see if there's anything here besides the guy that's trying to poke us. Wow, you uh, you're very large, Mr. Spearman. Oof. You also hit pretty hard too. What we got here? What have we filled in? Lance armor. Decent amount of uh, experience from this guy. An Argent Lance wielding knight. Hmm. We also didn't read uh, about the malediction up here. It's uh, a Dula hammer head that has gained the power to turn prey to stone. I, you know, I could have, uh, I could have read it right there. I was not paying attention. It was right there. Can we, like, possibly jump up here? Oh, we totally can. Does that mean I can go down, too? No, you can only go up. Oh, no, you can go down. You can drop through the floor. This looks oddly like there should be something in here. Alright, well, I guess it's just that guy. 
I'll use this to jump up one room. Is there anything on the ceiling? No? Okay. Onward and upward. Hopefully avoiding petrification along the way. <laughs> I think uh, what I want to do at this point is look for another warp room. And then uh, I'll probably go back uh, through these areas and see if I can find uh, some things that we can access with our uh, with our new capabilities. Probably going to be doing a lot of backtracking through the same kind of areas. Can I grab this? No. Wow, these uh, bookshelves look like they're moving really fast. Is there going to be some maledictions? Yep. Oh gosh. Yeah, this looks uh, this looks painful. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Can I get out of here? Freaking hell. Okay, uh, maybe I need to do this. Alright, that works. So, just a, just a super long area with, with nothing, nothing else there? Seems a little, a little odd. I kind of want to go down and check things, but at the same time, I don't want to. Oh, hello, Mimic. Oh, great. Curses. Fantastic. What did you give me here? Money is power. Increases your stats proportionate to your wealth. What? Okay, that sounds, that sounds kind of cool, actually. Um... How much does it increase? I can't believe I'm still using Alchemic Bounty right now. Boop. All right, money is power does like nothing for us right now. Apparently, when we rank it, we can sell items at uh, higher prices. That seems that seems kind of nice. Um, right now, this seems like this is pretty bleh. It doesn't really do anything for us. All right. Um, I should switch to something else and actually have uh, you know maybe sword expertise. Do I want the Rava right now, or do I want to be able to throw my sword? I think I'm going to throw my sword at this point. I think I'm done trying to use the, uh, the harp, the harpy, harpe. Oh god, this looks, this looks like a uh, health grinder for sure. <laughs> I don't know about this one. This looks, uh, this looks pretty dangerous. Hmm. Alright, well. It's like blue comes out about when uh, red is... Oh gosh. Well, okay then. <laughs> Did not notice the, uh, the bit of the uh, uh, overhang there. Alright. This isn't too bad. Why is there... Yeah, I thought so. This looks suspicious as hell. <laughs> looks suspicious as hell. Why would you have a small overhang on the ceiling if there isn't a secret? Uh, Diabolus cap, huh? Show me the cap. Uh, it's got some good defense and a huge amount of intelligence. Eight intelligence is nice. A hat worn by Eastern Necromancers. I still don't like losing the luck, though. I mean, we've got we got two of the. Uh, the harpes or harps or whatever um and that was a three percent drop rate from those guys that seems uh that seems very valuable to be able to have that kind of luck all right can i maybe hop over here yes just gotta watch out for these guys trying to get me what's going on over here a chest i'll take it damascus Ooh, mithril I remember we needed Mithril for something. Not entirely sure what it was, but we did need Mithril, so this is a good area. I like that. All right, let's see if I can hop across without getting myself killed here. Whoops! I did not mean to do that. <laughs> 
double jumped when I just meant to single jump. Alright, we made it across just fine. Is that a boss door? A key of Celeste is required. Okay. Possibly a hidden boss door? Got a thunder elemental here. Can you come out of the floor, please? <laughs> Can't really hit you if you're in the floor, buddy. I see a bookshelf. Is there a save room back here? Probably. Let's see what we've got here. I I Y seventeen sixty seven. At last, I have solved it. My first humunculus subject was a child, and recently deceased. The younger the subject, the and the sooner after death I act, the more quickly the crystal spreads through the body. So far, I have worked only with cadavers, but with a living child, yes. My position in the guild is secure now. Ugh, this person sounds awful. Uh, XQ1767. The guild has supplied the children I need. Okay. I care not how, and bade me to transplant the crystal. My old friend vehemently opposes the move on moral grounds, but I wish only to complete this experiment, rep replenish the guild's coffers, and continue my historic work. Now, let the experiment begin. Terrible, terrible person here. All right, save room? Save room, nice. All right, well, I don't feel like I am in too much danger at this point. Can do lots and lots of exploring. But the question is where to explore. There's so much. Like, I missed going in this door here. I don't know what's in there. There's a door here, a door below me. Sheesh, it's just everywhere. Excuse me, Thunder Elemental, that was not cool. Alright, I think I'm gonna go back down rather than continuously going up right now. Um, I can't go into this door of Celeste, but I should be able to go down here. Hey there, buddy. How many is it gonna take to kill you? Too many! Oh! What's this? What shard do we have today? Spear expertise increases spear damage. I haven't really found a spear that I was super interested in so far, so that's cool, but it's not really helpful to me at this point. Okay, we've got a bookcase, and we've got a whole bunch of things that are coming in now. Why do I hear, like, super heavy thumping right now? Oh my gosh, there is a dragon down here. Hey, I found your treasure! It's drinks! I like drinks. Um, okay. Ooh, look out. This guy is spicy. Watch it. Swinging that tail at me. I see what's going on here. This guy telegraphs. Ooh, what do we get from him? Draconic Rage. Rend enemies with dragon's claws. Ooh. That sounds interesting. Let's uh, let's try that out. It's uh, gonna go in place of our head flail. Um, where is it at? There it is. So rank will increase cover. Ooh, 120 MP cost. That is a that is a hefty cost. 